Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all my very dear students. I hope you all are safe and sound at your places. This is your English instructor Ms. Kainat Kamal and today we are going to discuss about some of the things that are left from the poem The Little Blades of Grass. My dear students, if you could recall the previous lecture, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the theme, about the poem and we have also done the explanation of the lines. But in today's lecture we would go into the details of the moral message of the poem, how to do paraphrasing, how to do the reference to the context along with explanation. And we would also look into the exercise of the poem. Okay, so starting with the moral message of the poem. So this poem is in reference to the teachings of God. Basically this poem teaching us the teachings of God. That what our God he wants from all of us. So the moral message of the poem, the little blades of grass is the God who teaches that when we pray, it should not be in the streets to show off. And when we fast, it should not be to show others that how righteous and kind-hearted we are. So, this basically God wanting us from all, that we all should be very humble, we all should be very decent in the ways of our life. So all the bragging blades of grass were doing what God told us not to. He just simply asked the question from the little blades of grass that what they did in their lives. So all started bragging about their good deeds, about their sensible deeds, about their good actions. Even not, not, not um, uh, except only one little blade, all of them did not mention even a single thing that, that that was not good in front of them. So they only talked about their good deeds which are God he does not like. So the humble blade of grass probably did countless good deeds. Definitely. But he just could not remember them because he did them with pure intent to love God and fellow men and not to exalt himself. So that little blade of grass, he knows that Allah does not want us to boast our good deeds, our sensible deeds, our good actions. So what his response was that memory is bitter to him, that he has forgotten whatever he has done in his life and even he is not sure that any good deed he has done and if he has done any good deed he knows not of them he know nothing he knows uh, not even a single good deed throughout his life if he ha if he, if he has done any so the best deeds are those done without a thought of reward this is basically very important message conveyed by the poet through this simple and short poem that truly virtuous are those who are virtuous not for the fear of punishment or hope of reward but for the love of virtue for example if we are praying to god we should not pray god because he asked us to pray because he would he would he would punish us if we do not and he he would reward us if he will so we should pray to god we should worship our allah just for the sake of just for the love of worshiping him in the love of god not for the sake of reward not for the sake of a fear of punishment so whatever we do in our life it should be Mm, it, it, it should be purely, it should be um, uh, 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 purely for the love of virtue, for the love of God. Basically, this poem is great in its message because it shows the lowness of mankind. Because 
this teaches this is poem teaches us our god teaches us to be very humble because god sees our heart and welcomes us for being humble for being repentant for being virtuous not for the fear of punishment or for the hope of reward but for the love of virtue our intentions should be pure if we if we pray god if we worship our allah if we do good to people if we are uh, humble so our intentions should be all pure it should not be for the sake of reward it should not be for the sake of uh, any and any fear so this was basically the moral message of the poem conveyed by stephen crane by using personification given giving human traits human qualities to the little blades of grass okay now what personification is so in this poem the poet uses a figure of speech and that is personification so simply personification is giving human qualities to non living things now here human qualities of bragging for their good deeds of telling the lifestyle that they have adopted throughout their life these qualities have been given to the non living objects these are the little blades of grass those who cannot speak those who cannot move they can only breathe so in this poem the poet uses little blade of grass to convey his idea he basically wanted to convey that these little blades of grass even they are responsible for their deeds whatever whatever they would do in their life they are responsible they are answerable in front of god okay moving towards the next slide and that is reference to the context now what this very phrase is reference is basically giving or addressing something so whenever you explain lines of the poem you give reference to the context too now what reference is in the reference you tell you tell about the poet and the name of the poem for example these lines have been taken from the poem the blades of grass written by stephen crane and what the context is in context you basically tell the theme of the overall like the overall theme of the poem the overall message of the poem that what basically this this poem wants to convey to us what is the message what is the theme what is basically the context the um subject of the very poem so in the context this poem is in the narrative form in the context you can tell us about the structure the form and the message or the theme of the poem this poem is in the narrative form with the dialogue between god and blades of grass in heaven on the day of judgment this is basically the structure of the poem that this poem is in the form of narration because god and the little blades of grass they both are in dialogue with one another and the setting is heaven on the day of judgment so what is the message of the poem the message of the poem is god said good are those amongst you who have done good deeds and do not feel proud on their good deeds allah pleased only with that little blade of grass who stood aside because she was ashamed of her actions she know she knows uh, like not not a single good deed but that little blade of grass was ashamed of her bad deeds allah said with all his majesty you are the best amongst all because the response of the little blade of grass was accordance with the god with the god what he wants us to do in our life to be very humble to to show repentance to show humility this is basically the ideal code of mode of conduct 
okay so this is basically reference to the context for example this is uh, the reference to the context is not um, for your paper point of view because in your paper you are only supposed to give paraphrasing of the uh, of, of the given lines so in the next slide we will discuss about the paraphrasing but this reference to the context is apart from your paper pattern you should know about how to give reference context and then how to explain lines for example the following stanza has been given to you and you are asked to write down the explanation of the following stanza by giving reference to the context so in the reference you tell about the name of the poem and the poet and in context you overall write down the theme of the very given line of the poem fine okay now moving toward the explanation so uh, stanza 1 you can read down the stanza from your book and uh, the explanation of the following stanza is so the very first stanza is in heaven some little blades of grass stood before god what did you do then all save one of the little blades begin eagerly to relate impatiently narrate the merits of their lives this one stayed a small way behind ashamed so in these lines the poet says they, that all the creatures of god have been given wisdom to differentiate between good and bad deeds they will be answerable to god for their good or bad deeds evil doers will be punished harshly and those who have done good deeds will be rewarded those who have done good deeds should not feel proud one should be humble and repentant that is why the poet says that all the blades of grass started relating their good deeds while the one blade of grass stood aside and felt ashamed of what he had done in this world so now we, you can explain the lines the way you want what is basically your understanding about the very lines about the very poem so the more you explain the more is good for you so stanza number 2 is presently god said and what did you do the little blade answered oh my lord memory is bitter to me for if i did good deeds i know not of them then god in all his splendor grandeur brilliance arose from his throne oh best little blade of grass he said so in these lines the poet narrates an imaginary case of blades of grass in the court on the day of judgment after after listening to proudful blades of grass god asked the little blade of grass who was standing little behind from others and was very ashamed for what he had to say about his deeds before god the little one replied that he had forgotten all about his good deeds on the contrary he had a bitter memory of his bad deeds only he made a very bold confession of his conscience he felt extremely sorry for what he had done in the world god was very much pleased of his bold confession and repentance because this is what god wants from all of us this humility this repentance this humbleness is basically the ideal mode of conduct in front of god so god stood up from his throne with all his majesty and rewarded that little blade of grass god said you are the best amongst all now he has been considered he has been awarded he has been rewarded with the very word the best little blade just because of his ideal mode of conduct just because of his humbleness that he has shown uh, showed in front of god rest of the blades of grass they have uh, bragged about different good deeds that they have done in their life that but they all were ignored by the god god even did not listen to even uh, listen to the single word they have they, they were saying over there god just moved to word that a uh, little blade who was standing behind all of them and uh, and was very ashamed 
and that little blade of grass through his humbleness cast god's attention and god being very attentive asked that little blade of grass that what did you do in your life and he was he was happy by the um, by the answer of that little blade of grass that if i did any of good deed i know not of them so this was basically the explanation of the following lines now moving towards the paraphrasing okay so uh, paraphrasing uh, if 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 you could talk about your paper pattern so paraphrasing is in your paper you have been given two or three lines or maybe one stanza in order to do, do the paraphrasing of the given line so what paraphrasing is paraphrasing is presenting ideas and information in your own words and acknowledging where they come from by using your own words you demonstrate your understanding and your ability to convey this information paraphrase is a restatement of the meaning of a text or passage using other words and if we talk about the paraphrasing with reference with reference to the poetry so simply in in poetry paraphrasing in converting converting poetic lines into prosaic one so if you could see in the following definitions one thing is common and that is explaining or presenting or restating the meaning of the text the meaning of the passage by using your own words so whatever has been given to you in the lines you have to rephrase them you have to restate them by using your own simple words so paraphrasing is always shorter than the explanation because you stick to the point you only do a simple step and that is you just use your own words instead of the words given in the following text or in the following passage so poetry is definitely things are behind the lines so when you do paraphrasing in the poetry you simply convert those poetic lines into plain ones into prosaic ones you convert poetry into prose poetry is definitely embellished decorative language but prose is simple plain language okay so moving towards the paraphrasing of the following poem okay stanza 1 i think there is no need to uh, narrate the stanza again so just going into the paraphrasing of that just see some little blades of grass were standing in the court of god on the day of judgment in the heaven he asked them about their deeds and actions on earth when they were alive they all started to relate about their deeds and actions impatiently and excitedly but one little blade of grass kept quiet and stood behind others because of shame stanza number 2 is god asked without any delay from a little blade of grass about his good and bad deeds that he had done when he was alive the little the little blade of grass replied that he did not remember if he had done any good deed god was pleased with his answer and god in all his majesty stood up from his throne and blessed him blessed him by giving the uh, title of the best blade of grass so now if you could see in the following uh, 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 lines in which i have done the paraphrasing of the stanzas th- that is a bit shorter from the explanation and is is to the point stick to the point so i have just restated i have just rephrased the following lines given given in the stanza in the poetic uh, in, in in the poetic form and the, this paraphrasing is basically simple and plain language just i have uh, added other words from my own dictionary from my own mind from actually this is basically the understanding paraphrasing is the understanding of the following poem understanding of the following text or the passage fine so your understanding is um uh, definitely is your own words is simple and is plain and let me tell you one more thing dear girls that the notes that has been provided to you 
those who have taken it from the college rest uh, who did not i i would definitely um advise you to people uh, go and uh, bring uh, your notes for yourself because in the following notes all the paraphrasing explanation has been done for you and those notes are handwritten by the english department of your college fine so now moving towards the next and the last slide of your uh, today's lecture and that is the exercise of the poem though the exercise of the poem is the short one but still we have to discuss it so the question number one what does god ask the little blade of grass what do the little blade of grass say in response so answer to the simple question is god asked the little blade of grass that what they did in their lives and they all began to narrate their sensible deeds one by one in a boastful way question number 2 what did the little blade of grass say when it is addressed by the god why was god moved by the blade's answer answer is the little blade of grass answered that he did not know any of his good deeds he has bitter memory of his good deeds his response was full of humbleness and repentance that god was moved by the answer of the little blade now the reason that god was moved by the answer of the little blade of grass because this attitude our god he wants from all of us being humble being repentant question number 3 is and the last question why does the poet use blade of grass to convey such a fundamental idea why did not he use man to convey his idea the poet used the little blade of grass to convey this idea because he wants to convey his message in an effective and moving manner he wants to tell human man to know that even a little blade of grass know how to respond and show humbleness before god the reason that the poet used this little blade of grass in order to convey his idea was he basically wants all of us to know that we all even the inanimate objects the animate objects living and the non living things everyone is responsible of their deeds in their lives all the creatures that god has created they all are answerable in front of god and the another reason is that the poet basically wanted to convey to us to human that we should learn from these little blades of grass though they are very little in size that little blade that is so little in size but the humility that he has shown see that that the attitude showed by the little blade of grass that was remarkable that was matchless so we should learn from the uh, from them that we all should be very humble in our life we all should behave decently we all should show humility we all should be repentant of whatever we do, we do in our life because god only likes this this very quality this very ideal mode of conduct of his creature so my dear girls that is all from the poet uh, from from the poetry section so if you have any question if you have any query you are very much welcome to address through our whatsapp group or through our web portal so that was all for today inshallah in our next lecture we would move to the next unit so uh, we are done with unit number 1 and the three lessons of uh, unit 1 so if you have got any query if you have got any confusion from these three reading selections 1.1 1.2 and 1.3 please uh, convey it to me thank you all stay blessed stay safe